All right, so what we're gonna do here is a raspberry barbecue. So I got this idea, I was just walking through the edge of the property, saw a bunch of wild raspberries growing, and I said, you know what? That might be kind of cool to do something like that. So, picked about 100 raspberries, and we'll just kind of show you briefly what I did for a marinade. Started off with a little bit of lemon juice, got that boiling in a saucepan, or simmering anyways. Then I added the raspberries to it and started to cook those down, smushed them up a little bit, went ahead and added some brown sugar, and some butter, cook that down a little bit more, and then we went ahead and strained all of the seeds out of it because we don't want a bunch of crunchy seeds getting our teeth while we're trying to eat frog legs. So, got the seeds out. Once we got the seeds out, added some molasses, some Worcestershire sauce, some garlic, and paprika, some black pepper, some ground sea salt, and then we continued to cook it down until it was getting to a nice, marinade consistency. We went ahead and added the frog legs to it and let those marinate overnight. We went ahead and pulled the frog legs out, got those off to the side, and then we reduced the sauce down further to an actual barbecue sauce. And we had to thicken it up just a little bit with just like a quarter teaspoon of cornstarch on a fairly high heat, cooked it down, let it cool down, and it thickened up real nicely. So now we're gonna use that as a barbecue glaze here in a little bit. So, all right, now that we got that going, here is what the frog legs look like after sitting in that dark purple raspberry barbecue sauce all night. They look a little freaky. There's probably a lot of people that may not like the look of this already compared to what it did look like. Real simple, we're gonna go ahead and grill these over a low heat on the grill. And I've just went ahead and greased the grill a little bit. We're gonna get those going on there, flip them one time, and then we're just gonna baste them with that barbecue sauce. And uh, that's all there is to it. These look really good, dude. <laughs> dude. All right, there we go, looking good. Time to get these guys off and we'll have everybody try them. Mmm. It kind of reminds me of teriyaki chicken. Now you have to be honest, if it's if it's horrible, you have to just let us know. No, it is really good actually. I think it's delicious. That's good. It seriously reminds me of like teriyaki chicken that you get at a Chinese place. It's because it's actually cat. Well, kitten, I should say. That sauce is yummy. Here's a little bit right there. Is it yummy? Mm-hmm. These are yummy kind. The yummiest kind? <laughs> Pretty good. What is this? A frog. Yeah, it's frog, frog leg. leg. Uh -huh. Wanna bite? Gotta watch out for the bone. <laughs> <laughs> May wanna get him on the side there, man. Wait, wait, let go. Let go. <laughs> 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 uh, that's pretty good. How's that taste, how does that taste to you? What does that taste like? It tastes more like a regular chicken wing almost. Almost like a chicken, like a barbecue chicken wing almost. Mm -hmm. More of a breaded and fried chicken wing kind of person. So okay. These are good. Right. But I like the deep fried. I was a frog leg hater. But they're pretty good. Good bite. Mm. I like that one too. Is that good? <laughs> they're frog legs. Still. Chicken squeeze. It's got barbecue sauce on it. Yeah. It's so spicy. You can eat. It's spicy. You can't It's actually really good, Marty. A little bit of zip to it. A little, and uh, some sweet. You can definitely taste the raspberry, so. Yeah? Yeah. Not too odd of a mixture? Not, no, not really, not at all. Pretty much what I was going for. That's pretty good. I'd like to hit it with just a little touch of smoke, maybe. Otherwise, I think it's really good. And I hate to call, you know, hunting, fishing, entertainment but uh you know the end result you know we came back with something to eat uh, had a good time hanging out together and you know making memories 
and I'll call hunting and fishing entertainment all day. So, well, you might call it entertainment all day, but you'll make quite a few people mad if you call it entertainment. So, oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> the way I look at it, I hunt and fish for entertainment. The food is an awesome side bonus.